Ah, uh, hey guys, welcome to the week here at the Geek Course. And today we're going to do some uh, single leg X defense. And uh, specifically today, we're going to do kind of like a back step. So uh, we talked a little bit about just exiting by stepping out with the uh, first um, that we did last time. But today we're going to go a little bit more into the depth of it. So same principles as before, just move into the middle, is that I'm grabbing his foot, I'm grabbing the shin, I'm trying to remove his connections to my hips, right? So I'm going here, boom, and getting low, right? And what you will see is in this position, a lot of the times is that this leg is gonna be a little bit wild, right? And so when they're using this leg to kind of try to get their foot inside again so they can push you out, that's when you can kind of, I should say, move it around or help him out by pushing it to a different direction, right? So you're misleading it basically. And when he's moving, I'm going to be stepping backwards here. And you can, you can pivot around the foot that's inside, but it's important that you put your toes to the mat, right? If your heel is on the mat, you're probably going to hurt your knee in the long run. So you, if you can come up onto your toes, it's much easier to do this kind of movement, right? And the whole time, I'm still connecting my hands to his legs so I can control this position, right? And what happens now, is as he's stretching this leg, it's easier for me to lead or guide his leg under my legs here, okay? You will see I'm just barely outside his range. I'm just moving this leg under, and now I can come in to kind of like a side position here, right? Now, let's say Plus is gonna be grabbing my foot, so he's gonna be grabbing like a, like a lock around my foot here. So now what happens is even though I get around him, I'm still stuck uh, with my foot wrapped. So here, push, push, step back. He's kicking a little bit. I lead it out and I step in, okay? So when I step in here, of course, I can just splash, bring my knee to the floor, and then come on top like this into like a nice side control position. Or I can utilize this grab that he's doing and put my butt onto his chest and I'm just gonna bring his hand up, right? So when I can bring his hand up to my thigh, omoplata is there, uh, you have the armbar like I showed last time or in the lapello plata or as we did. But here you can go here as well, roll and we have a submission, okay? Of course you lose the top position, but yeah, if you maintain the pass, you're good. So. There we go. Grabbing his foot, grabbing his shin, push it out, right? Now, some of the times you will feel a little bit weak on this leg. So what you can do, instead of pushing more down, push outwards, okay? So I'm kind of creating this inwards rotation on his knee, which is very awkward for most guys. So sometimes they will kick the leg upwards to kind of prevent this kind of rotation. And that opens up for a lot of different uh, attacks there as well. But Push it away. Now I can start stepping around. Turn it around here. So I can step and lead his leg underneath and then come back in. Okay. If he's still grabbing, I can pull his arm up, bring it into like a omoplata position. And of course, let's just add a little extra finish here. Step back, catch his head. And we have a nice triangle as well. So Great way to punish all your single leg X, single X friends. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>